Hello everyone! Welcome to another episode of Orgasmic Living. I am your host, Patty Alfonso, the Orgasmic Body Whisperer, empowering you to live orgasmically by including your body in the creation of your life. How does it get any better than this? I feel like it has been at least a million years since I got on here um, to do a new show. And I've just been super, super busy. Hi, Maya. I've been traveling for my media tour, and when I got back, I had several pole dancing for consciousness VIP days lined up, and then I launched the Orgasmic Body Love Experience group program, so I have just been super busy. And there has been something else going on, which is what prompted me to come and say hi to you guys here today. I have been talking with a lot of friends and colleagues and uh, a lot of people. And it is the consensus that it's been really freaking intense lately. Now, for me, that kind of showed up as being very, very, my body was just really, really tired. I didn't really have a lot of words, which is probably why I haven't gone live, because I couldn't find words. Um, <laughs> they were reserved for my clients and for the people that I was working with. And it's just been a really, really interesting adventure navigating this kind of intensity. Even at my gym, people are like, what is going on? Like, what is happening? A lot of kids, I guess, have been getting sick and cold symptoms, and there's just been a lot of energy moving. And um, they asked me, like, well, what's your take on all of this? And I said to them, you know, at the moment, even then I didn't have a lot of words to describe what was going on, but I said to them, look, it's just change. We're all changing. And as soon as I named that, I became even more aware. It's not just change. We are literally evolving right now. Now, whatever word you want to use to describe that, whether it's a life upgrade or you're upgrading or you're evolving or you're mutating or you're changing, whatever word it is that you want to use, it's okay but we are all in this very moment expanding really truly into something new. And what it reminded me of, I kind of was looking at, you know, how we have evolved from cavemen and cave women throughout time and where we are today and what it is that we are evolving into now that is beyond where we are in this very moment. And it has not been very comfortable, to be honest. It has been very intense. I don't think I've ever been this like physically tired in a really, 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 really long time. And for me, it has also been showing up like a lot of mental energy has been really present and loud in my universe, like a lot of energy right here by my head that I've been having to clear and push away. And I've been having to do a lot more body work than usual, really getting present at, at the gym, at my boot camp with my body, with every single muscle, with every single part of my body that we're working out in that moment. Um, because that's been what has been contributing to my body. Now, um, I wanted to share with you guys a couple of tools that you can use if this is coming up for you now. Hi, Sarah. If this is coming up for you now or in the future when we have our next huge upgrade, because you know what? It doesn't stop, you guys. It doesn't stop. We are continuously evolving and changing and growing. And so this this is this is just how does it get better? We're just going to keep evolving. I mean, gosh, I hope that, you know, my um, telepathic abilities can now be received by more people because it's so much easier for me to communicate telepathically than it is for me to find words. <laughs> so um, I want to share with you guys a few tools that you can use to 
navigate these evolutionary times that we are finding ourselves in. Um, so the first one is it's okay. It's okay to stop. It's okay to stop and to breathe and to get present with how the changes are showing up for you. For some people, it shows up like you're getting sick. For some people, it shows up, um, you know, tired. For some people, it may be that your life feels like it's blowing up in a sense, you know, maybe you're, you've changed jobs or uh, your relationship isn't working for you anymore or the people in your life, you know, you, you that needs a bit of an upgrade, surrounding yourself with different kinds of people. It shows up in a lot of different ways. Um, so it's okay to stop and get present with that, to take a breather to slow down a little bit. Really, it's okay. I think that we get so stuck in the doing and the going and the, you know, for me that looked like I couldn't go live for a little while. I had no words, I had no, like there was just all of this energy that I was being present with and the thing that I had to sort of let go of in that moment was doing, you know, the Orgasmic Living show. It just, it just was what it was. I didn't make myself wrong for it. I didn't, you know, beat myself up for it. And I knew that I would get back to it when the timing was correct. So whatever it is that you are doing, right, it's okay to just stop it. <laughs> take a break, take a breather. Um, and I know that this, in a sense, may go in a different direction than what we're used to. You know, we're all really told to like be consistent and keep showing up and keep doing the things that you need to be doing. And yes, that is absolutely valid and valuable. And during these times when that when the change is so palpable in so many levels, it's okay to just relax. The next thing that I want to share with you about this is that there are no have to's in this life. There are no have to's. Now, there's two energies here as well, okay? So I'm speaking specifically during these times of huge evolutionary change that we are all going through. Look, when I talk to all of my colleagues and all of my friends, and I talk to all of the groups that I'm involved in, and I, I talk to like my mastermind group, and, and everyone is like, oh my God, we are changing something collectively. There is no doubt in my mind. So during these times when there is a collective shift in consciousness, a collective evolution into what is next for all of us, there are no have to's. You don't have to do anything. And it goes together a little bit with like, it's okay to stop. It's okay to take a breather. It's okay to relax. It's okay to, you know, um, like my example, orgasmic living. There was no have to in that. I have to do this. I couldn't. I couldn't. I had no words. I had no energy. I like needed to just veg on the couch every once in a while. Like Thursday morning would roll around and I'd be like, okay, I'm going to try to do it today. And it just, the energy wasn't there. The energy wasn't there. And that's the key. If you're forcing yourself to do something, if you're forcing yourself to push through something prematurely, something where there is no energy there for that, then what is that going to create? You know, now I'm like so relaxed being here with you today, so joyful to be sharing this with you today. So like, yay, I'm, I'm happy to be here. Whereas if I had pushed myself before, it would have been clunky and weird and awkward. And I know that because I've done that before. I've pushed myself before into situations that I shouldn't have done that. So I've, I've learned this through experience. It's funny though, because I went to a dinner party the other day and my friend Barry, who also does a lot of Facebook lives, um, he was talking about how like Facebook changed a bunch of stuff with the lives and now we can't do it horizontally and we have to do it vertically and all this like other stuff. And I was like, oh, that's why I wasn't going live because I'm not really good with that kind of technology stuff. You know, I would have been like, what's happening? So like, 
I don't know if you can tell, like usually my, anyway, I digress. Squirrel, there are no have tos in this life, especially during these times. Now, I also want to talk about like those moments where something should become a have to. When you are like when you're when you're creating something new or you're making a big change in your life, sometimes you know that there is that energy of like I have to do this. Like if it's time to let go of a relationship, because it no longer serves you, it no longer serves the other person, that's a have to, to get that done. You know, if, if you find yourself in an abusive situation, um, to get yourself out of that situation, that's a have to, like I have to do this, right? So these are two different energies and they can all exist, right? And you gotta get present with what does this energy require right now? Is this a have to of like, I don't have to do anything right now? Or is this a have to like, yeah, I should actually be doing this right now. And just tapping into which one of those it is in this moment. That's what I love about being able to tap into the energy of things because energy is always changing and every moment is always changing. So getting present to what it is that you require right now. And for the last four weeks, between the travel and, you know, being with my new clients and launching the new program, you know, uh, just the stopping and the breathing and the relaxing and the taking time for myself, that was my have to. Um, on that note, the next thing that I want to encourage you to do during these times is to find what is nurturing for you and for your body and do that a lot, a lot. Now, what I have found in, in speaking with, with clients and, and with people all over, the, all over the world is that a lot of people don't know, like what is nurturing for me and for my body? I don't know. And so you gotta explore that and play with that. What is nurturing for you and for your body? And I mean like actual physical things. Our bodies are physical beings. Okay, so what are some of the physical things that you can add to your life that are nurturing for you and for your body? For me, for example, um, going to my morning boot camp can be nurturing a lot of the times. It's a space where I get to move my body intensely and um, there's music playing and I can like while out and be crazy and be fun and move my body. And that's one way that is nurturing, right? That intensity sometimes is nurturing, especially during these sort of big uh, evolutionary changing times, right? It helps me to move energy. It helps my body to move energy, okay? Sometimes that's not nurturing at all. Sometimes my body requires the extra sleep. Sometimes my body requires a really soft, nurturing, gentle massage, you know, where I can just go and let go and relax. And um, sometimes my body requires a chiropractic session. Uh, sometimes my body requires a friendly person to just put their hand on my back, you know, to just gently put their hand on my back and let me know that they're here and that I'm okay and that everything's gonna be okay. Sometimes it's a, a hike up a hill, up a mountain. Sometimes it's just a gentle walk in nature. What are the things that are nurturing for you? And allowing every moment, every new moment to inform you of what your body requires right now. During these intensely energetic evolutionary moments that we are having in, in time right now, what is it that your body requires. Maybe nurturing is going out to a dinner party and just talking to friends about nothing. Maybe it's um, going dancing, right? 
What is it that is going to be filling for you? Filling you and your body. And I wanted to um, do a really quick energetic awakening of being with you here right now. Um, if you haven't experienced these with me, well, here you go. This will be a taste. But I wanted us to ah, just get present with each other right now. And allow your body to breathe however he or she needs to breathe in this moment. And I want you to allow your senses to activate. What are you hearing when you close your eyes? What are you looking at and seeing around the room that you're in? Noticing your clothes touching your body. Noticing, you know, your feet on the ground or your bum on the seat, wherever you are. Really activating all of your senses. What's the taste that you can taste in your mouth right now? What are you smelling? Getting really present. Hi, everyone with all of your senses right here, right now, and allowing your body to relax. Noticing your breath. I want you to expand your energy out just beyond your body. Filling the room that you're in, filling the city that you're in, the country. Get really, 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 really big, allowing your body and the space between the molecules of your body to also expand. And notice what that creates for your breath. What if there was nothing to do? Nothing to do right now except be present with you and with your body. And whatever you are hearing or feeling with your body or sensing with your spidey senses, nothing to do, just presence. And if you're someone who has a lot going on in the head, I want you to just push all of that mental energy out and away. Pushing. And what I want you to do is to fill your whole body with you. I want every molecule in your body, every muscle, every bone, every cell to be tickled by you, by your energy. Bringing your awareness and your energy all the way down to your feet and allowing all of that to go down through your feet into the earth and then expanding out again. And this isn't about putting all of you into your body. This is about filling your body with all of you and then expanding beyond that so that you are fully present with your whole body. And as you walk forth through the rest of your day, gently upon this planet, I invite you to stay present with you, 
to get present with what it is that you require, what it is that your body needs. Do you need to stop and take a breath? Do you need to let go of some things that maybe aren't working for you anymore? What's going to be nurturing for you and for your body? Thank you all so much for being here. How does it get any better than this? Um, I would love it wherever you are listening to this, whether it is here on this Facebook Live or on YouTube or on iTunes, if you could leave me a comment and let me know what this experience was like for you. If you are on iTunes, if you could leave me a review, that would be amazing. I would be so grateful for that. I hope that you all have a beautiful, glorious rest of your day. And I will see you on the next episode of Orgasmic Living. Thank you, everyone. Bye for now.